all right so these are all the startup files which we are going to get started with so this is just a simple uh, basic to do application which is used to perform all those crud operations in a basic to do app so this is just a simple node application which is completely written in pure javascript and from these files onwards we are going to improve the architecture of this okay so this is just a basic architecture which any uh, back end developer can build this so from here onwards we are just going to enhance this particular back end and take it up to the advanced level okay so this is just the basic level at the moment so these are are the, all the startup files which you will be finding within the description of this video so you can just clone this repository into your local developing environment and then we can get started from there on okay so you can just go here and you can just copy the uh, url and then you can just clone it within your local development so once you clone this to get started the first step is to install all the dependencies right so we are having a list of dependencies for our startup project so we need to install all of them so ideally the package manager that we are bound to use is npm right so in this video we are not going to use npm but we are going to use another alternative and a better option when it comes to installing dependencies that is pnpm okay so pnpm starts for performant node package manager so this is the package manager called pnpm which we are going to use within our project so it stands for performant node package manager okay so it says that this is the package manager which is two times faster than the normal npm and whatever the files that are inside node modules are cloned and hard linked from a single content addressable storage so this is the package manager which is getting popular day by day and it is used for most advanced and complex web applications that you build okay and more developers are shifting from npm to pnpm okay because it saves a lot of disk space as it says over here fast disk space efficient package manager so you must also try to consider this so that's what i have decided to use within this project so we can just click on get started the first step is to install pnpm on your uh, local machine okay so there are various steps depending on the um, os that you are using so we have for windows you can just copy this command into your powershell and get this installed okay or you can use curl as well so there are many options if you want to use so if you are using docker as well so we have commands even for that so um, if you are using mac so we can um, use homebrew where uh, you can just do brew install pnpm so that will uh, easily install pnpm into your uh, mac machine so that's what i did over here so i just uh, did this and pnpm was installed also if you are using npm you can do npm install and install it globally pnpm at latest okay so this will install the latest version of that once you have installed you can just verify by just typing the command pnpm and uh, you will be getting uh, some output like this okay which means that this is successfully installed on your system if you get some kind of error then that is not installed properly so i recommend you to uh, take some help online and uh, get this installed okay so once you have done that we can just do pnpm install okay so this will install all of our dependencies inside this node module okay so i have this node modules here which was installed by using npm so i'm just going to uh, delete this and i'm just going to install using pnpm okay so i'll just tell you what is the actual difference so if i just do pnpm install within the um, the directory which i'm in so you see that uh, it depend it installs all of the dependencies that are listed here and along their specific versions so now if you open the node modules folder it is not as big as the node modules fo folder that when you are using npm right it will only install those dependencies that are actually required and it will create a reference to your uh, other modules that are installed within your computer itself so that you don't have to install all this uh, node modules so all of those files within every single project that you configure and some will be just given a reference so you will find an arrow over here so that means that it is referring to some other file okay so this makes this node modules folder a lot more lightweight if you compare the file size of this node modules to the node modules from npm it will be relatively smaller than that okay so that is the reason it saves a lot of disk space so if you have a lot of projects on your system and everything has a, a big node modules file so that will consume a lot of your uh, system space right so this will save all of that and that's why i considered using this pnpm library for as a package manager for this project so instead of the package dot lo package log dot json file you will have this pnpm log dot yaml file okay so this is a yaml file which uh, is written in uh, yaml but this is a package dot 
package log.json which is uh, you know for the npm so uh, this was already there before so i can just delete this so this is the one which pnpm uses as a log file okay and this is yaml instead of a json so now to run this particular project we have a script that is to run the dev server and this will run node one server which will constantly monitor changes within your uh, particular file okay so this is the entry point point of our application that is server.js which is also over here and uh, we have an uh, .env not example file which we need to configure before running our uh, you know application so these are all the database credentials that are required to uh, run your database so if you just go to um, database over here and you see that we have a connection string over here so you can just uh, replace all of these uh, with your actual values that you have within your uh, env file so the database i am running it uh, locally okay so this is not uh, hosted on mongodb.com and uh, i don't have a cluster disk, so i'm just uh, com running this completely locally so that's why i have a connection string something like this so if you want to run this uh, using the mongodb atlas which is hosted online so you can also use that so from there you will be getting a connection string and you can just replace this with your actual connection string okay and you don't need the database port and the uh, you know the host and all okay so everything is uh, you know configured there itself all you just need to do is replace your username password and the database name itself okay so if you're running this locally so make sure you have mongodb server running okay so if you want to check uh, the mongodb server is running or not so you can just check type mongod within your uh, terminal and hit enter so you will get some output something like this which means that um, your mongodb server is actually running okay so mongodb starts for mongo daemon so this means that um, your mongodb server is running so you are good to go okay so once you have updated your env file you can just replace this with just env so this is an example file so this will actually not run so we can just now go ahead and run the pnpm run dev command okay so this will run the development server and you see that server is now running on port 8080 so if you don't get any errors which means that it is uh, successfully running and your mongodb is uh, configured so we can just test this out by going to slash api slash to do so this is just a simple route which we make a get request to fetch all the to do's so we should get an outputs okay so since i am already logged in and uh, i had a to do which was already uh, did for testing so i'm getting the output over here so if you're getting output like uh, invalid uh, credentials or anything which means that at least your api is working and uh, we are good to go from there onwards okay so at this stage our api is working so without any kind of um, 404 error so once this is done we can now go to the next step in uh, enhancing the backend architecture of our project is by converting the entire application to typescript 